Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel and we're going to continue with our Legends of Boxing PC game Bugs Bunny Career Playthrough and it's a big matchup as the Rascally Rabbit makes his first, his second, excuse me, second title defense of his regional featherweight championship and he takes on an ancient rival Elmer Fudd the Rascally Rabbit at the Garden, the Mecca of Boxing. Elmer Fudd, the number one contender, on the comeback trail after serving a year for poaching. Hunter versus Hare, and the Hare don't care. Up next from the Garden in New York, the Mecca, Madison Square Garden. Elmer Fudd, after getting out of the Huskow, has won three consecutive bouts. His first bout back was an, a complete annihilation in under three minutes of Sniffles the Mouse. But it was a good comeback fight for Elmer after serving a year for poaching. His next bout, a little tougher. He took out Tweety Bird in three. And then in a grudge match, it was Granny versus Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd held her up for eight brutal rounds and then took her out. He will now attempt to rip away the regional featherweight title from the happy hare, the happy rabbit, Bugs Bunny. Scheduled for 10, Madison Square Garden. The referee is Dave Gardner. As both pugilists are in the ring, Dave Gardner has them come to ring center. Chief Seconds in Bugs Bunny's corner. Foghorn, Leghorn, and Speedy Gonzalez. In the Elmer Fudd corner, it's Yosemite Sam. A lot of hatred between these two protagonists. Referee Gardner asks, Any questions from the Chief Seconds? Bugs Bunny says, Can I murder him? And then stares at Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd says, You will be another pelt or another brick in the wall. Elmer Fudd then asks how Bugs Bunny's girlfriend's doing. It is rumored that Elmer Fudd that was one of his poaching victims and Bugs Bunny didn't like that. Dave Gardner has to separate them and now sends them back to their corners. Bugs Bunny in the red corner, Elmer Fudd fighting out of the blue corner. Elmer Fudd Cambridge, Massachusetts, the Cambridge killer taking on the happy rabbit Bugs Bunny, Brooklyn, New York. Bugs Bunny, 12-2-1 with four KOs. Won the title against the Crusher and then defended it by stopping the title. Uh, stopping the Crusher. So he's defeated the Crusher for the title via unanimous decision and then stopped him. Here we go. The bell for round number one. Hunter versus Hare. Joining us at ringside at MSG, the mecca of boxing, SGD. SDG replays. Hope all is well. Hope your puppy's doing well. And uh, check out that wonderful channel. Here it is. Round number one. The rabbit did not have the best training camp. His power's down. Elmer Fudd, not a big puncher, but they're both tenacious competitors. And they're going to be fighting from the outside. The hare takes immediate control. As he rat -tats Elmer Fudd with a left and a right. He will dart in and out. As we stated, a a la Manny Pacquiao. Again, Bugs lands good stiff jab, slides away. Elmer Fudd looking to land that big right hand. Oh, and the hair goes to the Franks and Beans. But referee Dave Gardner, just a mild warning. So far, a lot of Bugs Bunny. Here comes Elmer Fudd right back. With a good right hand left hook to the Labanza, the right hand to the jaw of the Rascally Rabbit. Bugs Bunny lands the uppercut. That's his punch he likes. He likes to do the Joel Walcott slide away, comes back with the uppercut. And Elmer Fudd has a bloody nose. First blood has been drawn upon Elmer Fudd. We have about a minute and a half to go here in round number one from the Garden. And Elmer Fudd comes back like the hunter he is with a tremendous left-right combination. And then he digs a shot to the belt line. The rabbit looks to come back. Oh, two jabs and a thudding right hand. The rabbit might not have punching power, but his hand speed is there. And Elmer Fudd 
felt those blows. Elmer Fudd looks to come back as he hooks to the body with the left. And then a chopping right hand to the head. Bugs Bunny lands a lead cross. Missed with the uppercut. A very tight round. A bloody Elmer Fudd. Blood coming from his nose. Sits on his stool. And Yosemite Sam quickly goes to work on that nose. D. Scott Howard has traveled from the West Coast here to cover this major event for the Oregon Times. Hope all is well, D. Scott Howard. Happy Thanksgiving to one and all. Tremendous, tremendous first round. I give it to Bugs Bunny, though. He did bloody his antagonist's nose, the Cambridge killer, Elmer Fudd. Elmer also goes by Mizell Holmes. Remember, Elmer's just got out of the Hooskow. He served one year for poaching, and rumor has it he did poach Bugs Bunny's girlfriend. Ringside scorer, unofficial, gives it to the rabbit. We give it to the rabbit also. We prepare for round number two. There, oh, Bugs Bunny loses two endurance points. Elmer, three. A good start for the rascally rabbit trying to hold on to this title. Here at the garden, D. Scott Howard says, My money is on the bunny. SGG replays regarding the puppy. She's into everything. All Jack Russells are into everything. Round two. Scheduled for ten. And the rabbit quickly comes out again. He's going to fight from the outside. And this time Elmer's going to put the pressure on him. Elmer Fudd is ratatatted with a left jab and a right hook. He rubs at his eyes, but there is no blood. The rabbit continues to ratatat Fudd as he moves forward with a jab. And then again the right hook. Fudd gets inside. And Fudd pounds away. Right to the body and then the left and then up to the head with the left hook good job by elmer fudd but the rabbit slides away lands a counter right missed with the uppercut oh they clash heads referee dave gardner looks they're a-okay we have about a minute and a half to go here in round two the rabbit throws punches but elmer fudd was able to dip dive and evade bugs bunny misses again with his shots Elmer Fudd begins to taunt the hare. And this time, Bugs Bunny sidesteps and nails him with a left to the body, then the right uppercut. Elmer Fudd felt those blows. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, but the quicker, shorter punches were by the rabbit, and Fudd felt them. Another round in the books for Bugs Bunny, in our opinion. The bunny loses two endurance points. Elmer Fudd, five. Fudd seems to be fading quickly. They're very happy in the Bugs Bunny corner. You can see Foghorn Leghorn and Speedy Gonzalez encouraging the rascally rabbit. Greg Garecki, our good friend from the Great White North, has joined us. He says the bunny may be quicker, but Elmer is like a white Bernie Briscoe. <laughs> And will likely wear him down for a late stoppage. Clinton Parks, hope all is well. And again, happy Thanksgiving to one and all. We have given the first two rounds to Bugs Bunny. And so has the ringside scorer. Both protagonists and pugilists are off their stool. And we await the bell for round three. Referee Gardner sig signals for the bell. Here's round three. They tie up a lot of dirty infighting as Elmer Fudd tries to gouge the eyeballs of the rabbit. And the rabbit does what he likes to. The rabbit punch. Referee Gardner breaks them. Bugs Bunny in control. He lands a combination. It was a left and a right. Elmer Fudd was able to roll with those punches. And again they tie up. Elmer Fudd trying to work that free hand. Referee Gardner breaks them. And now the rabbit darting in and out as... The pressure comes from Elmer Fudd, but he's not throwing punches. He's eating punches. It was a good left, right, left by the rascally rabbit. Now Fudd gets inside, and he bangs the body hard. Lead right, and then the left hook. Bugs Bunny comes right back with two hard shots. It was a straight right, then the left hook. Fudd continues to apply the pressure, and he bangs away. Big combination. Started to the body, then up to the head. The left to the body, then up to the head in a chopping right hand. The rabbit rolls away, but Elmer continues to press, and he nails Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny forced back to the ropes. Fudd trying to keep him on the ropes, and they tie up. 
And there's a bell. I'd have to give round number three to Elmer Fudd. He provided good pressure against the rabbit. The rascally rabbit finished the round on the ropes as Elmer Fudd was windmilling away. Then the bunny tied him up, but he was smiling at the crowd and whispering, I will kill you, Elmer, into his ear. The rabbit loses two endurance points. Elmer Fudd, four. So Fudd is fading. The ringside scorer gave it an even round. He still has the rascally rabbit up by two. I have it two rounds to one, Bugs Bunny. Again, this is for the regional featherweight title scheduled for 10 for the Mecca of Boxing in New York, Madison Square Garden. At ringside, Clinton Parks, Craig Gorecki, D. Scott Howard, and SDG Replays. Round four. And it's the rabbit from outside as, again, trying to get in tight, Elmer Fudd. But Fudd is paying a price. He is hit with the jab and then the right hook. Fudd presses forward and again the jab and this time the straight right. Fudd blinks his eyes, but there is no blood from that area. A slight trickle of blood from his nose, which was bloodied in the first round. Now Fudd gets in tight and he bangs away with a left-right combination to the body. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, an even exchange by both. And the rabbit slides away to his right. And there's the good step back. The lead right, then the left hook, catching Elmer Fudd. Fudd again presses inside. Elmer Fudd bangs away, chopping right hand, and then the left to the Labanza of Bugs Bunny. Another even toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange at ring center. The crowd loving it here at Madison Square Garden. Big shots! But the rabbit gets the better of it again. The shorter, straighter punches by Bugs Bunny. Fudd begins to fade, and he ties up, and referee Gardner breaks them at the bell. We are through four, and I have the rabbit up three to one. Elmer Fudd is fatigued. Bugs Bunny screaming from his corner. I will take you into the deep water and drown you. This is for all that you have poached. Remember, Elmer Fudd served a year for poaching. On his comeback trail, he has stopped Sniffles the Mouse, Tweety Bird, and Granny. And that was quite a brutal fight with Granny as he held her up, held her up, held her up, and then finally took her out. No love lost between Bugs Bunny and the hunter Elmer Fudd. The ringside scorer has it three rounds to the bunny, one round even, none to Fudd. We prepare for round number five. The rabbit quite confident that he will retain his featherweight regional title here at the Garden in New York. As I say that, Elmer Fudd comes out with new determination, and he bangs away. Chopping right hand, it was a lead right hand, then the left uppercut. Oh, and Elmer Fudd tries to go to the bunnies, franks and beans. Referee Gardner gives him a mild warning. But that might have helped out, as that has slowed down the rabbit. And Elmer Fudd pins him on the ropes, and he bangs away with the body punches. Elmer Fudd keeps the rabbit pinned to the ropes, and he continues to pound away at that body. The rabbit trying to fight his way off the ropes. Lands a lead cross, but missed with the uppercut. Now the rabbit slides away from the ropes. Two good jabs. Elmer Fudd trying to cut the distance, but the rascally rabbit continues to work that jab, asking him, what's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? And now he rat attacks Fudd again. Right hand, left hook, and Fudd felt that. We're under 30 seconds to go here in round five. Fudd comes back with a chopping right hand and then his own left hook. And the rabbit wiggles at the bell as he turns back towards his corner and shakes his tail at Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd, an exhausted Fudd, goes back to his corner while Yosemite Sam tries to revive him. Quite a round, a slight edge to Bugs Bunny. In my eyes, but the ringside pronosticator and scorer gives it to Elmer Fudd. Unofficially, the ringside scorer has it 49 Bugs Bunny, 47 Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd also goes by Mizell Holmes. 
but his street name is Elmer Fudd. Round six coming up. The rabbit loses three endurance point. And Elmer Fudd is fatigued, as we have stated. Elmer Fudd had a slight edge in power, but now it's down to one. Bugs Bunny's training. He, he didn't train too hard. A little lax a days ago, quite confident he was going to beat Elmer Fudd. He lost a power point, which he normally only has two power points. He was down to one. Round six, scheduled for ten. The Rabbit in the lead. And the Rabbit quickly takes control from distance. And there's the jab and the right hand. Speedy Gonzalez said keep pumping that jab out there in the Rabbit's corner. And now Elmer Fudd closes the distance. And he hooks to the body and up to the head. And Bugs Bunny is blinking, but there is no blood. A toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange by both pugilists as the rabbit lingers too long on the ropes. Fudd was able to land, so was the rabbit. Fudd pins him on the ropes. Those jabs were blocked. Bugs Bunny doing a rope-a-dope, and... Oh, he threw a big hook, hook, and Fudd ducks underneath it. The rabbit, now the right hand. It was a lead right hand, left uppercut. Bugs Bunny slides away from the ropes. Cutting the distance and cutting off the ring is Elmer Fudd. It's that lead right hand by Fudd. It's a chopping right hand. Then the left hook to the rib cage of the rabbit. Fudd continues his attack. A lead uppercut. That's a dangerous punch to throw. It was a left uppercut. And again, the chopping right hand to the head of the rabbit. We have under 30 seconds to go here in round number six. The rabbit looks to come back with two jabs and he lands it. But a decent round for Elmer Fudd. He's already fought the tortoise, Clinton Parks. That was a tough round to score. I might have given that one to Elmer Fudd. The rabbit loses two endurance points. We already know Fudd is f fatigued. Say that ten times fast. The ringside scorer gives that round to Bugs Bunny. I gave it to Fudd, but we pretty much have the same score. Just got a different way of getting there. Bugs Bunny, 59. Elmer Fudd, 56. We prepare for round number seven. They've done a good job on that bloody nose in the Elmer Fudd corner. Yosemite Sam has. Again, in the Rabbit's corner, you have Foghorn Leghorn, a very calming influence in the Rabbit's corner. And Speedy Gonzalez right by his side saying, use the jab, use the jab, move, stick and move. Foghorn Leghorn whispers something into the Rabbit's ear. The Rabbit laughs. Here we go, round number seven. Elmer Fudd presses inside, bout action ring center, and Elmer Fudd banging away at that body. He is determined to slow down this rabbit. It's a rascally rabbit, and here's the rabbit. Jab right hand, he slides away from Fudd. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. As Fudd cuts the distance, both fighters land, it was even. Here's Fudd again. He works his way inside with the jab, and then pounds that right hand to the body. Fudd goes to the Franks and Beans once again, and referee Dave Gardner seems to let him get away with it. We have about a minute and a half here to go in round number seven, and Bugs Bunny gets back on his horse. Those Franks and Beans shots will slow you down. He is working that jab as Speedy Gonzalez from his corner yells, Arribe, Arribe. But Elmer Fudd! Oh, Elmer Fudd gets in and he works like a mad badger banging the body, and then the left uppercut chopping right hand and the rabbit felt those blows we have under a minute to go here in round seven bugs bunny back from distance lands the lead right and then the left hook shoves elmer fudd away and an even exchange at the bell elmer fudd giving it his all but he is very fatigued minus three for the rabbit down to seven elmer fudd's been fatigued i believe since the fourth round in the Fud corner, Yosemite Sam is telling the other chief second, who I do not recognize, give me the bottle that I mixed. Give me the bottle that I mixed. That's kind of curious. How do you mix water? We give that round... Uh, we give it to Fud, and so did the ringside score at 68-66. This fight is still up for grabs. A tiring Elmer Fud is dog-determined to take this title. Remember, 
He's tough as nails. A year for poaching. Just out of the Huskow. This is his fourth comeback fight. He has defeated Sniffles the Mouse via brutal KO early. Defeated Tweety Bird via another brutal KO early. But then, Granny, big friends of Tweety Bird, he held her up and beat the living shit out of her. She was finally stopped around the 8th. Here we go, round number 8. The rabbit takes control. And now it's the rabbit pressuring Fud. Foghorn Langhorn said, let's push him back. And there's a wild combination by the hair, but it lands. It lands. Bugs Bunny continues to press forward. Continues to press forward. Pounding away. He wants to take out Elmer. Oh, a big left hook and a chopping right hand by the rabbit. It's been all Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny pounding away as Fudd is trapped on the ropes. Bugs Bunny showing no mercy. And the legs begin to wobble by Elmer Fudd. The straight right hand left uppercut by the rabbit. Both fighters throw and miss, but Fudd's back is to the ropes. We have about a minute left here in round eight. It's been all the rascally rabbit as he pounds away with another combination to the body, then up to the head. Bugs pounding. There's that uppercut. There's that good uppercut snapping the head of Elmer Fudd. Toe to toe exchange! But Elmer Fudd goes back into the ropes. The better of it was definitely Bugs Bunny. An overwhelming round for Bugs Bunny as Foghorn Leghorn in the corner. Obviously whispered between rounds, take it to him and beat him to death. And the rabbit surely did there. So I guess even with all the partying that Bugs Bunny did as he did not have a stellar training camp, he lost a PowerPoint. He said he could take out the hunter and so far he's done a beautiful job. As Greg Gorecki says, it's Pepe Le Pew with the bottle. Pepe Le Pew. We're coming up on round nine. Three endurance points still left for the rascally rabbit. As he waves to the crowd, Elmer Fudd knows he has to do something huge here. They've done a good job on that bloody nose for Elmer Fudd in that corner. Yosemite Sam, Pepe Le Pew. As Greg Gorecki has recognized, it's Pepe Le Pew working the corner of Elmer Fudd along with Yosemite Sam. The ringside score, purely unofficial, now gave round 8 to Bugs Bunny. 10-9. The rabbit is up 78-75. Uh, we have it about the same. I will take a swig of water as we prepare for the final six minutes of cartoon violence. There's the belt. They tie up. They jostle. Now they move away from one another. And in an inauspicious, inauspicious start to round nine. And here's the rabbit taking control from the outside. Two jabs and a right hand. Though Fudd was able to roll with those punches. Fudd pressing the attack. And Fudd lands the right and then the left. He, he likes to use that lead right. The rabbit comes back. He misses with the hook. Elmer Fudd comes back with a short right and a left hook. Good job by Elmer Fudd. The rabbit from distance, working the jab. He likes to throw the jab and a quick straight right. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, ring center. As Fudd presses forward, the rabbit is able to sidestep. Then they stood their ground. They traded. About a minute to go here in round number nine. Elmer Fudd has to do something big. They tie up. Fudd tries to work the free hand. Now referee Dave Gardner breaks them. And again, Bugs Bunny ties up Elmer on the inside. And he says, you will lose, Hunter, and then it will be your pelt on my floor. Under 30 seconds to go, and there's the rat attack attack by the rabbit at the bell, snapping Elmer Fudd's head as he pressed forward. We have three more minutes of violence. Elmer Fudd is in a deep world of poop. He is exhausted, breathing heavily in that corner. Yosemite Sam dropping a whole ice bucket down his pants. Pepe Le Pew saying, Take these green pills for God's sakes! But nothing can help Elmer. He's going to need a knockout. And he is fatigued. Not a big puncher anyway. A tenacious competitor though. We have Bugs Bunny. Wow! They gave that rub. Wow! Check the ringside scorer. He must be on some of that medical marijuana. You know what I'm saying? Because he gave round nine 
to Elmer Fudd. The Rabbit still on his scorecard as a two-point lead, 87-85. We have Bugs Bunny up by four points. Elmer Fudd, either way, needs a knockout. The final bell, the fighters refuse to touch gloves. They tie up, they move away. Now the Rabbit works behind two jabs. They're telling him, they told him in his corner and continue to yell at you're well ahead. Take the points, victory. Will the rabbit listen? He wanted to knock out Elmer Fudd. There it is! A big combination. Lead right, left hook, hits Fudd. They tie up and they move away as the rabbit now starts to taunt a tired, bloody-nosed Elmer Fudd. Oh, a clash of heads! A clash of heads! Minor swelling for the rabbit. Nothing for Elmer Fudd. Fudd has been known to use that bald cranium. And he finally gets in there with a headbutt. And Bugs Bunny just slides away and smacks him around with that jab. Bugs Bunny in complete control, just using the left hand. Using the left hand, nailing it with a jab. Twirls, whirls, and wiggles the tail at a befuddled Elmer Fudd. It is all rabbit. And oh, a tremendous right cross! Nails Elmer Fudd! No follow-up by the rabbit. Fudd, final 30 seconds. Toe-to-toe -to -toe at the bell! But the rabbit definitely got the better of this round and the fight. In our eyes, he shall retain his regional featherweight title. The happy rabbit, Bugs Bunny from the borough of Brooklyn. And there is much joy and jocularity here in the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, New York, New York. So it does look like the rabbit will retain his title. Elmer Fudd out of the Huskow, one year for poaching. Three fight win streak will come to an end in our eyes. And bigger and better things for this rascally rabbit. Fudd will have to go back to the drawing board. But that is what we see. Let's go to the ringside score unofficially. 10-9 Bugs Bunny in the final round. 97-94 for the rascally rabbit over the hunter Elmer Fudd. So it looks like the hare will defeat the hunter. Now to the three blind mice. Literally three blind mice at ringside. The official result. It's a unanimous decision. 98-94. 97-95. 97-94. The winner by unanimous decision and still regional featherweight champion. The happy rabbit. Bugs Bunny. And Madison Square Garden explodes as a favorite son of New York wins. There'll be a lot of partying, and you know the rabbit will be there in the borough of Brooklyn. So he got away with a shoddy training camp, but he does defeat the number one contender, Elmer Fudd. What is up next for the rabbit? We shall see. Let's roll here. Seven, so we don't get anything. We need a one through four. We need a one through five. We got a three. 18, increased defense, or I think that's control and finishing. What do we want to increase? What is our defense? You know what? Let's increase the defense. We're going to go with defense. So we want defense closed. So there you have it. We got good rolls there. Again, when he trained, our power went down because he had a shoddy training camp. But now, after the win, we're able to increase our defense to two. All right. So we will end the month. So that bout took place April uh, April 16th. Actually, actually, this the 16th fight, excuse me. That place that bout took place April 1940. We'll have our next opponent at some point. Well, I hope you enjoyed the rascally rabbit defending his featherweight title. It's a lot of fun bringing you this. He's now defeated Elmer Fudd. What's up next? Maybe we, how many points do we have? 31 reputation points. We need 40 reputation points to go for an, a, a, a national title. So we're nine points away from that. We'll continue to try to uh, defend, obviously, our regional featherweight title. And we don't know who's up next. So we will find out. Thank you to Greg Gorecki, Clinton Parks, D. Scott Howard, and SDG Replays. Health and happiness. Stay safe. Be smart. The Rascally Rabbit wins again. He defeats the hunter, Elmer Fudd. Unanimous decision 10 to maintain his regional featherweight title. Greatly appreciate your time. God bless. See you soon.